गौरव भाटिया टू द पॉइंट ऑफ परसिक्यूशन बींग टर्न आउट एज एज अ पोलिटिकल स्टेटमेंट बाई द आम आदमी पार्टी विच दे हैव द राइट टू डू रिस्पॉन्ड टू दैट चार्ज बाय डॉक्टर सुमन सिरामन Navika let us first talk about the two perceptions that exist today one aam aadmi party in the eyes of aam aadmi party leaders and their leaders and second aam aadmi party leaders in the eyes of the common man so i will just compare the two arvind kejriwal uh, in the eyes of the papi aap is like mahatma gandhi but in the eyes of the common man he is the kingpin of corruption manish shodia is bhagat singh in the eyes of the papi aap but in the eyes of the common man he is accused number 1 in a corruption case being probed by ed and cbi satender jain kattar imandar for arvind kejriwal but in the eyes of common man he is a hawala baz number 1 who hasn't got bail even after 5 months gopal italia for arvind kejriwal he is netaji subhash chandra bose but for the common man he is galibaz number 1 who abuses females who abuses narendra modi ji as well as hindus amanatullah khan and tahir hussain are nobel prize laureates for arvind kejriwal but for the common man they are right accused now after saying this the larger question today that is being raised by the bhartiya janata party is this that if you have committed an act of corruption today why this political drama and if you say that you are being falsely implicated due to political vendetta this one question needs to be answered the fir was registered 2 months back Two months time is adequate time for Manish Shodia to move the court and get the FIR quashed on this ground. Why didn't he do that? Question number two: If the excise policy was so good, why did you Maybe withdraw the excise policy? Question number three: Why is it that you waved off 144 crores because there was a quid pro quo? You were getting kickbacks. Question number four. which is very important there were notices sent by the excise department why have you not taken action against these companies question number 5 why were the aap leaders beneficiaries who were given various tenders and excise shops can you answer that any of the questions and then we can take forward this debate 